Yeah. It's been 11 days since President Biden said we're closer to nuclear Armageddon than at any point since 1962. On point tonight, could we please get an update? Anything from this president on this issue would be nice. 11 days and we're all still here. So are we on the brink of nuclear war or not? Here's the exact quote from President Biden to supporters at a DNC fundraiser. Putin is not joking around when he talks about potential use of tactical nuclear weapons. I don't think there's any such thing as the ability to easily use a tactical nuclear weapon and not end up with Armageddon. Putin is not joking, as the president continued. All right. Those are serious comments, as we have talked about. But right after he said it, the White House backtracked. Official after official told us there's no indication Russia is preparing to use nuclear weapons. What's more concerning, perhaps, is those same officials say his comments didn't come after any new intelligence assessment on Russia's nuclear arsenal. So how long exactly have we been near nuclear Armageddon? Is it weeks? Is it months? Who knows? They won't tell us. What we have seen from this administration is a far far cry from President Kennedy 60 years ago, almost to the day during the Cuban Missile Crisis, when he made things crystal clear. Shall be the policy of this nation to regard any nuclear missile launched from Cuba against any nation in the Western Hemisphere as an attack by the Soviet Union on the United States, requiring a full retaliatory response upon the Soviet Union. All right, President Kennedy's administration moved with urgency during the Cuban Missile Crisis. He warned the Soviets just a couple of days after U.S. intelligence found the missiles, announcing evidence in a televised speech. His wording was so stern, the Soviets accused him of making threats. Two days later, as you can see, October 24th, Khrushchev accused Kennedy of making threats. October 25th, the Bucharest enters the quarantine zone. October 27th, Major Rudolf Anderson shot down over Cuba. A day later, Khrushchev folded. Those were clearly different times since President Biden made his Armageddon comments. He's dodged questions on what he really meant. Actually, when the White House press corps asked him about it in the days that followed, he didn't dodge. He ran off to Marine One without saying a single word. Now, at one point, to be fair, he did sit down for an interview with CNN. He said we were close to Armageddon. And this is all he said to clear it up. Well, I, I don't think he will, but I think he, it's irresponsible for him to talk about it. Okay. Of course it's irresponsible, but Mr. Putin is talking about it. He has talked about it several times since he first invaded Ukraine. And President Biden has talked about it a number of times. President Biden's comments came five days. Five days. So what exactly changed during the time period between when Putin said what he said and President Biden said it? And why wouldn't he tell us what he meant or whether the red lines are? Why wouldn't he give us that Kennedy-esque statement of what a nuclear attack would mean? Since that interview, President Biden vacationed to Delaware. He held three fundraisers and gave five speeches, all ample opportunity to clear things up. So with all due respect, where are we on this? Are we close to Armageddon? Are we back from Armageddon and can go on to our usual lives free from the worry of nuclear war? This isn't a partisan question. It's a question we should all want our president to answer. That's on point tonight. Thanks for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.